Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about how to uh, control the rotor angle in a BLDC based electric drive uh, by using this example. These are torque input are given here, uh, the torque input position and the torque value. Here almost set by, by using the signal builder block. The, by using the signal builder we can uh, change the position and also give, give the uh, reference value uh, to the controller. So this is an example. So the yes, we, we adjust based on the adjustment you can see. Otherwise you can give the values values in terms of uh, data. For example, exp export data, import from file, and also export uh, what is your uh, set the set values export in, uh, export uh, into workspace or uh, save as mat file. The simulation op options also available here. Um, uh, signal values after final time it extrapolate our um, whole final value and set to zero. These are all the simulation option option is available. Also, you can set the sample time. Also, you can set um, enable zero crossing um, on and off here. By using the signal builder block, we can set the torque and position of uh, position as input to the controller, BLDC based controller here. This controller uh, block uh, uses uh, with BLDC current controller, current controller block. This is a position controller and speed controller. And what is the VDC filter here? This is a BLDC current controller and also PWM generator. Plus here, the BLDC current controller blocks uh, implements a discrete time PI based BLDC current controller. Here we can set the current uh, proportional gain and integral gain, anti wind up gain, and also sample time. Also, here it is a speed controller and position controller. Uh, what is there to measure the um, uh, position of the uh, rotor angle and also current uh, control the um, uh, rotor angle. By using this example, we can plot angle of uh, motor by using uh, code uh, and also you can modify the uh, model parameters also that by, by using this uh, example, you can mod modify the model parameters and also this is where our simulation is going on. Now, uh, what is the output? Uh, will uh, shows the requested and measured angle for the uh, test and uh, rotor speed in the electric drive. Uh, then uh, now this is output. Output of this example uh, that is a brushless DC uh, position control example. It is a rotor position. This plot shows the requested and um, a measured angle for the test and also the rotor speed, rotor speed in the electric drive. By using this Simscape uh, Result Explorer block, you can see these are uh, um, measured the angle, angular position and angular velocity, uh, and also uh, torque, uh, torque versus time, and uh, current um, current versus time, and uh, angular velocity versus in terms of, in terms of uh, RPM versus time, and this angular angular position, what is the degree angular degree versus a uh, time, also it shows here. Each and every po every position. For example, uh, angular position and angular velocity, and ID value and IQ value can measure. This is your uh, N value. That is a P of uh, at node one one point one uh, one one and one two one three nodes. It's okay, driver output. Based on that, you can analyze. If, uh, already two uh, videos are posted um, uh, with BLDC. Modeling and simulation of BLDC based hysteresis current controller. In this example, mm, how to control the current in the BLDC. And uh, next example um, uh, posted here, how to control the rotor speed uh, in this BLDC uh, based drive, electric drive. Here is also you can uh, modify the par parameters, that is the machine parameters and control parameters. You can set the uh, pole pairs, uh, number, of number of poles per increase, number of poles pairs, and stator resistance, and uh, stator uh, self inductance, and stator mutual inductance in program uh, programmatic way. That is a script way. Otherwise, you can uh, modify the control parameter and machine parameters in uh, Simulink model itself. That is a control parameters value here itself. You can change the values. Also, you can change the position and torque uh, by using this signal builder. Also, by uh, you can import the data, uh, export the data to workspace. For, for example, by using this one, click the workspace. In this workspace, we can get get these values. What is the BLDC position and sim block? And uh, based on that, we can get import your values. 
signal builder values by using this uh, signal builder block we can export the data also also you can export the data to math file because there is a um, signal builder app also you can uh, import fi file from fi from file here itself by using mat file if you have mat file means you can uh, choose the data file to import the signal builder no need to um, um, set the values set the values by using this example you can control the uh, you can modify the machine and control parameters also there thank you thanks for watching